Gunlands sucks, but not for the reason you think. Gunlands is an amazing weapon. I mean, the very concept itself. It's a lance that's also a gun. How awesome is that? And the weapons look amazing. Look at this. It's a giant fountain pen. I've always wanted to murder large predators with a giant fountain pen. I'm not kidding. These weapons have great designs. And the moves. Oh, the moves. You thought it was just a lance and a gun? Oh, no. It's also a rocket ship. Don't take this the wrong way. I'm not being sarcastic. I'm totally serious when I say the gun lance is an awesome weapon. But it has one major flaw that keeps it from being more widely used and easy to learn and handle. And no, it's not what you have been told over and over again by the Monster Hunter YouTube Illuminati. The damage on the gun lance is just fine. It's more than fine. It's damn good. Look at some of these combos. Check this out. Would you like some fries with that worm steak? How about a slam, a slap, and a full burst? You can even do this crazy shit. Aerial shelling is awesome. Could the wyvern fire be better? Yeah, for sure. But you're not suffering because of that. And yes, you can jack up the melee damage on this set to rival anything the longsword can do. It's not the mobility either. Look at all your options. Blast dash. Ground splitter. Back, side, forward hopping. This crazy shit. An evade extender is genius on this weapon, if you're into that sort of thing. Accuracy is great too. You can make on-the-fly adjustments and, with one or two minor drawbacks, attack pretty much wherever you need or want to. And yes, you can even KO with this bad boy. The best thing I like about Gunlance so far, though, is its insane counter. One wire bug, counter any attack, and sharpen your weapon at the same time. It blows my mind how good this is. I've only covered half of the awesomeness of this weapon, but that's because there are so many cool features I haven't had time to learn them all yet. So, as brilliant as this weapon is, why would I say that it sucks? What is it about Gunlance that keeps more people from mastering and loving this amazing weapon? If you haven't guessed already, well, I sort of gave it away in the thumbnail. The button assignments for Gunlance are trash. They're broken beyond belief. The complexity of it astounds me. When I want to do a particular move, say, Worm State Cannon, I shouldn't have to consult a flowchart in order to determine which button to press. There are at least four different buttons that activate Worm State Cannon. What the actual fuck? Now, you could say, well, X plus A is for when you want to do a high worm stake. But even the high worm stake can be activated two different ways. It's either A or X plus A, depending on the flowchart. There's even a combo where it doesn't matter if you press X or A. You're gonna do the worm stake. Yes, they mapped it to two different buttons at the same time. Don't believe me? It's right in the weapon controls manual. Worm stake is a high damage move, and half the time that I want to do it, I can't because I'm pressing the wrong button. And half the time when I don't want to do it, I do it anyway because there are times during my combos when Capcom has made it near impossible to avoid doing it. Overhead slam is the same way. It's a fundamental, necessary move for getting good damage with the weapon. So far, I found three different button presses that will perform an overhead slam, depending on the flowchart. Yeah, one of these is technically called a jumping slam, but it's the same move. Sort of. Speaking of jumping slam, check this out. I can do a blast dash, press X to do a jumping slam, then press X to do a lateral thrust. Okay, blast dash, A to aerial shell, X to jumping slam, then press X to wide sweep? What sense does this make? There are some great high damage combos for gun lance. No question about it. But the button presses are just too convoluted and inconsistent just to pull off the same moves each time. Instead of feeling powerful, it feels clunky, random, janky. We need smoother, more intuitive button presses for our combos that don't require elaborate flow charts and hours of training muscle memory. We need things to be simpler so we can react on the fly instinctively like we can do with most other weapons. It's a mess. And this is what needs to be fixed with Gunlance, not the mobility, 
not the damage, not the counters. You can buff the damage all you want. You can add another counter. Hell, add 10 more counters. Throw in some more iframes while you're at it. None of that will improve gun lance. None of that will get more people to use it. Sure, more will try it. That just means more people will give it up, too, and keep shitting on it on YouTube. Because until the button mappings are reworked, we mere mortals, aka 99.999% of the player base, are not going to be able to make it work consistently. And it will forever be more frustrating than fun. Leave a comment down below, like the video, subscribe to the channel, tell me what you really think about Gunlance.